what's up guys? Jersey Joel Fishing here. It is May 15th, 2019. For this video, I'm going to try something different. I'm actually going to go to a place that's been on my bucket list for a while that I haven't fished. I've been to before, but I have never fished it. It's the Delaware River over at the Delaware Water Gap National Park, which is the river in between New Jersey and Pennsylvania. So I'm going to head up there and uh, do some fishing. There's a lot of fish species. I've been there before with friends many years ago, whitewater rafting and camping and hiking, but I've never actually fished it. You know, we had three days of cold, heavy rain, so I haven't been able to get out and fish, but this is, like I said, this has been on my bucket list to fish the Delaware River, so I'm gonna venture out and uh, explore the river and, and find some fishing spots, and I'll hopefully catch some fish. So let me start getting my gear packed up and in the car and get Serenity ready. And I'll talk to you guys when I get there, all right? Sit down over here. Water level's really high and it's brown. So all the rain we had, we had three days of cold, heavy rain. So everywhere the water level's really high. These steps over here go down like two more steps. But this is the first spot that I found here on the Delaware River. So I'm gonna take a few casts. I got the spinner. I got night crawlers with me. You know, like I said, I know there's a lot of different fish species in here. I've never fished it. I heard it's a really good fishery. You know, a lot of people fish here. They white, go whitewater rafting, they go camping, they go hiking. The Appalachian Trail is here, which goes from Georgia all the way up to Maine. So, real beautiful area. Beautiful mountains up there. Real uh, awesome area. A lot of people come here to the uh, Delaware Water Gap which is, like I said, right on the Pennsylvania and New Jersey border. So, all right, enough talking. Let me uh, start casting. We'll see if we can get some fish here, all right? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna try my, uh, my lucky spinner, one of them anyway. Number four, big silver blue fox Vibrax. One of my top three spinners to use. Catch everything on this. We'll see what happens. The wind picked up a little bit. Current's moving pretty good from right to left. But let's see. First time fishing the Delaware River here. Let's see what happens. Here we go, first cast. Can't believe how brown the water is. Because all the rain, all the mud goes into the river. All right, they don't want the spinner. Let me try a night crawler. Yeah. All right, I've got a half a night crawler on. Nice juicy piece. Let me try this. This river has a lot of current, so I'm not gonna be able to leave the bobber out there for too long. But they don't want the spinner. Let's see if they want this. Any fish will hit a night crawler, especially because it rained. Very natural bait. The bobber's out there. Just let it drift down and uh, see if something bites it. I gotta do some exploring around here. I'm sure there's other access points on the river. I don't know any of the spots. Like I said, this is the first time I fished here. This is just the first spot that I came to that I tried, so. We had three days of cold, heavy rain. We probably got about a couple inches of rain. It was really bad. It was 45 degrees. 
like I said, heavy rain, just miserable. Couldn't even get out and fish. You know, I was just hanging out at home, watching movies. I was playing some Xbox online with my buddies Stallion and Big Country and Jake. You know, we play Xbox a lot at night. It's a lot of fun. Players from all over the world. All right, found another access point to the river here. I'll try over here, see how it is. Let's see if there's any fish home over here. Wow, it's really windy over here on this side. There's the interstate right there, Route 80. It goes all the way out to California. It's the biggest interstate in the country. We're right under the bridge. And uh, I'm gonna take a few casts here. See if I get something. Be nice to catch a fish here after driving an hour. It's like a little cove in here, it's like a current break. So it's not as fast, not as rough water. All right, here we go. See what happens here. Three hours later. drove about 40 miles north at another section of the river here we're actually over on the Pennsylvania side over here in um, Milford Pennsylvania we're on a place called Milford Beach it's part of the uh, same Delaware Water Gap National Recreation Area Park yeah yeah we went home for a bit we had something to eat Recharged our batteries and now we're back. It's about uh, 5 30 p.m. Gonna fish here for about an hour and a half on this stretch of the river here So this is the Pennsylvania side right across the river is the New Jersey side and what I learned here I found out Researching online is that in this Delaware Water Gap National Park as long as you have a New Jersey or Pennsylvania fishing license you can fish on either bank you don't need both state licenses, only one, which is great. So right now I'm on the Pennsylvania side and I have a New Jersey fishing license and it's allowed. It's perfectly legal as long as you're within this state park, which this Milford Beach is. So, you know, I read some reports online as well. They said this spot of the river has some pretty good fishing. So let's see if they're biting. Let me uh, head down to the water and start casting. I'll talk to you guys in a minute, all right? River actually looks calmer over here in this section. All right, here we go, Let's see what happens. Water is still brown from all the rain. It's gonna take a few days for it to clear up. All the mud and the dirt, they fall into the river when it rains heavily for a few days. Just saw a fish jump over here to the left by these reeds. I'm not sure what it was. All right, let me cast the night crawler over there where I saw that fish jump. I could try this Alabama rig that I found last week. Let me try it. Why not? What could it hurt, right? Give it a shot. Got a silver blade on it. It's got uh, four, looks like little shads. Let me try it. Nothing to lose, right? Maybe it was the reason that I found this. So I can catch my first fish here at the Delaware. Don't really fish Alabama rigs at all. I think this is my first time. It looks pretty good, actually. It's like a school of fish swimming by, close together. No, I've been here for like an, over an hour, nothing. 
Mind if I take a couple casts? No, I don't know. Is the fish any good over here? Oh yeah, this is usually a very good spot. What do they usually bite on? Uh, that's what I use all the time, pretty much. Okay. It's similar to like what you're using. There's just yeah, four of them with a spoon. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I always use the big silver blue fox spinner that you usually have a lot of luck on. I usually always catch fish on this. The blue fox has a lot of vibration. Oh, sure, definitely, yeah. Uh, nothing, not even one bite. I'm from New Jersey. This is my first time here trying it out, so. Okay. This time, with, with the water up high, this is usually a good spot. On this normal height. Yeah. I even got night crawlers, everything. Not even a nibble. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he eats fish. Oh, my daddy. They got all different kinds of species in here, too, right? Smallmouth. Muskies, yeah. carp, shad, shad right? are running. Yeah. I think this rain might have knocked them down a little bit, you know? Yeah. They were out here catching them pretty good over the weekend. Oh, really? Before it rained again. Yep. But my friend, uh, in, uh, we were out in, I think it was April, caught a, uh, a muskie. Oh, really? Uh, it was huge. Wow. It was the biggest fish he ever caught. What did he get it on? Like a spinnerbait? Put it on lure just like Oh it. wow, like a, like a little swim bait, right? All we were using, yeah, Kitek. <laughs> I guess they imitate the little shad, right? Correct. <laughs> a nice, I caught a nice two pounder last week. Nice. Right down there. I was out in the boat. I bring my boat down. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice meeting you. Good luck. Hey, thanks. <laughs> two days later. All right, guys, it is a couple days later. It's May 17th, 2019. I'm back up here at the Delaware River. Didn't get nothing the other day. I did run into about three other fishermen. And what I learned was when the water level is very high because of all the rain we had three days in a row, then the fish get pushed downstream and they're not really feeding. They don't bite. The water's just too high. So they said, wait a couple days. The water level did go way down. It's a beautiful day. It's uh, partly sunny and 74 degrees. So the conditions should be ideal. It's gonna shower tonight. It might thunderstorm. So it's gonna get overcast later. So it should be really, really good conditions for fishing. And like I said, the water level went way down. As you can see, it was all the way up here, halfway up. It went back down. It receded now back to normal water levels. So. Hopefully we can catch some fish here. I've been trying really hard to catch a fish at uh, at the Delaware here. You know, it's nice to be able to fish it and see the area and go exploring and, and look at the scenery and everything else. It's, a, it's an awesome spot. My goal is also to catch fish here. So I'm gonna try a few different baits, whatever it takes. I got my spinners, I got night crawlers. I got like five different crank baits. I got paddle tail swim shads. Paddle tail minnows, different colors, different sizes. I got a spinner bait. I got a little bit of everything I'm gonna to try today. I'm gonna to throw everything I can here at this river and see if I can get some fish, so. Try a red crankbait. It's got a rattle in it. It's a rapala. All right, let's try this. Well, that casts really far. Seconds later. Got one, guys. I got one. Oh, he got off. He got off, guys. He's a big smallmouth. Oh, man. That was my first fish. He got off. He got hung up on the reeds. Oh, my God. That was a big smallmouth, guys. He got off. I should have walked over here to land him. He got caught up right here on these reeds. It broke him off. Well, at least I know this is what they want. That was a nice smallmouth. All right, well, I lost him. Now I know that they're feeding. He got broke off right here on this, this nice big crankbait. Let me try this again.
my heart was pounding. He was hooked good, but he got tangled up right here in these reeds. He got, there's like a whole bunch of reeds here. They're like sticks. He got caught up and I'm gonna broke them off. It's a good fight too. It was a really nice smallmouth. Looked like he was about 17 inches. Well, talk about bad luck. Seven minutes after I lost that smallmouth, I, I snagged that, uh, that big red crankbait over here. There must be a big rock or something. I couldn't get it out, snapped my line. It's too deep to walk out there and get it. So there goes a $20 lure. Oh well, I'm gonna try another crankbait. 20 minutes later. Got one guys, another small mouth. This one's a lot smaller. I put a pink and, uh, pink and green crankbait on a smaller one, downsized. Got him. I crawled down so I can cast it out farther. He slammed this right away. Look at that, guys. He slammed it. It's got pink and uh, gold and green on the top. The small Rapala crankbait. Caught my first fish here in the Delaware River. Nice smallie. The other smallie that I lost was a lot bigger. Got it out. This one's not big at all, but... Real beautiful fish, real healthy. Look at those red eyes. Beautiful Delaware River smallmouth here on the Pennsylvania side. Serena, you wanna see this fishy? Red eyes, beautiful red eyes. This is a smallmouth bass. Tail, I'll touch the tail. All right, touch the tail. I was determined to come back here and catch a fish. All right, one last view with this Delaware River smallmouth, guys. I'll show you the release. All right, buddy. Thanks for hitting my uh, Rapala. I'll see you. Yep, and there he goes. See you, smallmouth. Right back out in the middle. All right, that's great. Landed my first fish, lost a much bigger one. Let's see if we can get some more here at the Delaware River on this beautiful day. It's on a Rapala, like little shad. Mm -hmm. Right here he got off. He was about 18 inches. He was nice, but he was stuck right here. Before I could jump down and unhook him, right here, he, it helped break him off. And then I caught another smaller smallmouth. Uh, nah, the same thing. That's the one I just got. Oh, no. The other one I got was a lot bigger. It was about 17, 18. This one was small. But... Yeah. yeah, I heard they got like 30 pound musky in here, a huge one. Yeah. And striped bass too, they got too, right? Yeah. Well guys, that's gonna do it for uh, fishing this Delaware River for the last two days. You know, I did catch those two smallmouth bass. That first one was a real nice one, like 17, 18 inches. You know, but he got off right on shore. He was like tangled up in the reeds. You know, the Rapala crankbait, you know, he broke off. You know, I was gonna jump down there and unhook him, but he got off before I could get there. And then about uh, 20 minutes later, I got that other smallmouth on the other Rapala crankbait minnow, the smaller one. And uh, it was nice, you know, I got, that's two smallmouth here. You know, I had a couple of other bites. You know, the water level did go down from uh, a couple days ago when I was here last, but uh, it was a real good time here, you know, it was, uh, Nice exploring the river and seeing all the different spots. You know, now I know that this Pennsylvania side is where all the good fishing is at. So I ran into a couple other fishermen also just now, and they caught walleye out of here, smallmouth, and you know, they have a lot of different fish. They even got striped bass, you know, but a lot of the striped bass and the walleye, they don't hit until it gets dark at night. So, but I'm definitely gonna come back here again and uh, do some more fishing. Maybe I'll catch a walleye next time and a striper and catch some more smallmouth. But I had a really good time here. I wanted to fish this river, you know, my whole life. It was on my bucket list item. You know, the Delaware River has a long history, you know, with George Washington crossing the river, you know, on the Revolutionary War and, and everything else. You know, a lot of history and it's a really good river, good fishery and a beautiful area with the Appalachian Mountains and everything else. So I had a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you in the next one, all right? Have a good one, guys. Yeah.